Hello and welcome to another episode with the Werf League. I'm JT. You can find me on Twitter at JT underscore the ginger. You can find the Werf League on Twitter at Werf League and also on YouTube. This is week 27 of FAB, the final week of FAB for the 2021 season. We're going to go over the transactions and also we always start with the overall earth standings though. So let's get to that. Because I know that's what everyone's kind of been interested in asking me about recently. So let me share my screen here. And um, these are current standings for the overall Earth, all the leagues, uh, current to September 26th. And on top, as of this morning, it was those two Johns, which I found out, uh, Nate and Mike co-own in the barf league dave mcdonald from glarf is in second right now and michael waterloo from turf is in third um, those are the main three jostling for the number one overall spot and then there's somewhat of a gap there and then rounding up the top five ralph lifshitz from nerf and corbin young from Worf. so i will mention it now and i'll mention it right at the end of the episode I'm working with uh, Justin Mason, do a live stream update of these standings in real time, October 3rd, around 5 p.m. Pacific. All the games should be over by then for the regular season, and we'll crown a tentative um, stat correction pending champion for each league and the overall Earth League. Uh, Pretty exciting stuff. Looking forward to it. Uh, right now, that's all the information I have. Um, try to work with Justin later this week on just kind of inviting um, all the, the key players here and anyone who else wants to join in or just watch. So be on the lookout for that. We'll tweet it out. We're going to keep going with the, the rest of the top 10 here. Lucas Beery, Glarf League, Dalton Del Don from Barf, Michael Govier from Glarf, Ryan Venasio from Turf, Enosaurus from Barf, uh, Mark McElroy from Worf, Will Garofalo from Worf, Carmen Mirano from Glarf, uh, Man Bear Pig, still don't know their identity or even just a first name from Barf League, and Vegan Mutado, so that's Rob D. Pietro from Turf, Dan Harris, Fantasy Pros out of Nerf. Um, Chris Mayer, Baseball Pods, uh, Nerf as well, John Hegland, Werf, Toad, or no, excuse me, that's Bubba. Bubba is, I'm sorry, I'm misreading it. Batflip, so that's, that's, uh, Batflip crazy, that's Toby. I should put his first name here. You're seeing this in real time. I can't believe I never caught that before. There we go. So Toby's in the barf and Aaron Parker in Worf. Those are the top 20. Uh, check out the rest. I'll kind of scroll through it. Um, I'm down here somewhere. There I am, 50th. <laughs> so there's only a few names I ha- have left remaining to identify. Um, but yeah, so this is tweeted out. Um, earlier this morning, or I guess Monday, the uh, on September 27th. So, can go out, interact with it, check out all the individual leagues here, hyperlinked on the right hand side. Uh, Glarf still holding it down for the overall rank for the the leagues, uh, followed up now, slimmest of margins by Werf and then Barf, Nerf, and Turf. <sighs> One week left of uh fantasy baseball at least for the regular season uh, MLB baseball so uh, it's going to come down to the wire I almost um, am interested in those two Johns Dave McDonald and Team Waterloo so let's look at the overall totals how should I do this because uh, oh, it's going to throw off all the filters but I, I really would want to, maybe I can just undo what I've done. So in terms of runs, 
We're just going to look for Dave McDonald, Waterloo, or those two Johns right here. Those two Johns, uh, man, there's some pretty tight points and runs there. He's also got, so let me highlight it. Go those two Johns, you're seeing this real time. I, we're going to have to figure out this live stream somehow. Um, but ultimately, I'm looking for well, where's he at? Dave, oh, Dave, where are you? Find next. Find next. Oh, wow. I was just completely overlooking. Sorry. Um, and then those are John's Dave McDonald. Team Water. Team. There he is. Okay. Now we can do this. Okay. So, water holding down the top runs spot. That ain't moving. But Dave runs to gain or lose. Same with those two Johns. Let's look at home runs. Wouldn't you know it? The top three teams are in the top five. So, um, <laughs> Waterloo has a stranglehold on, let's see, 10 home runs. I, okay, I apologize. Not a stranglehold, but that's a pretty sizable leak, lead for one week left. Um, Dave can only lose points in home runs, so that'll be interesting. Let's go RBI. Again, three in the top of the top four. Well done. Those two Johns, so... Definitely got a lead there and really just jostling. I don't know if you'll really reach in points. Uh, definitely for RBIs, you could. So Dave or Michael could take away points from each other. Um, stolen bases. So Dave could have points to gain or lose. There's some ties here. Waterloo. Um, I don't know if you could gain a five steel gap in a week, but definitely could lose one or two. And those two Johns are kind of sitting pretty right there. OBP, that's going to be a tough one. Maybe I shouldn't click on that. <clears throat> Let's see. Quality starts. Okay, there's now here's some separation. Definitely, definitely points to gain or lose in quality starts. Let's just say that right there. Strikeouts, Dave McDonald on top. Just got to hold off Venn Baseball. Those two Johns, points to lose or gain. Mike Waterloo, points to lose or gain. Okay, saves. Let's check it out. Um, points to lose or gain for all saves will be a big factor. Um, definitely. Everyone will be on save we'll watch and the rest of ratios. So thanks for bearing with me there. Um, but I was just kind of curious in real time. I hadn't really thought about it. Um, how much points are really at stake. So let's, let's see, let's move this one all the way down. And off the screen. Minimize, and so now I am sharing what I hope you can see is the Worf League transactions week 27, last week of 2021. Colin Moran getting picked up by AP for five units. Luis Garcia, 60 units by Mikey, putting uh, Urias on his IL. Hearn, I picked him up for five on a two start, and I think I shied away and actually didn't even end up starting him for this week at the moment. I don't know if his lineup locked individually, but there weren't too many games today. 
on the Monday. But it was on my last five units, so I have zero. It just kind of felt nice to spend it all. You can't take it with you to next year. Nick Gordon getting picked up. Uh, Andy, 101, dropping Jones. Nicholas, 45 units for Mark, dropping James. Duffy, I got for zero. Mitch Keller went for 45 to Mark, dropping Finnegan. Kittredge going to IL, and so Corbin's... Spent 23 units to pick up Espino, Daniel Lynch, Mikey, 55 units, dropping Diekman, Isaac Paredes, AP, two units, got Siri for zero, um, Elias Diaz, AP, two units, Lewin Diaz, zero for myself, uh, picking him up, Jackson Cower, that was the final one, I was just like, ah, another two starter, but I think I'm going to shy away, um, but just wanted to fill the roster, fully participate, and you know, trying to hold on that 50th spot. And then some housekeeping here. Moving on to turf. Nick Gordon got picked up by Mike Waterloo, 52 units, put Andrews on his IL. That's it for turf. For Glarf, Bellinger got picked up by Mike Carter, 22 units, dropping Tavares, Luan Diaz, 36, Lucas Beery. Dropping Brett Phillips, Tapia getting picked up by Zach for five units, dropping Ozuna, Kyber Ruiz, Mike Carter, 21 units, dropping Jensen, Eli Morgan, Dave Swan, 21 units, dropping Daza, Seawald getting picked up, five units, Jake doing so, putting Brault on his IL, Rangifo, Lucas Beery, 10 units, dropping Molina, Carlos Santana getting picked up by Jake for two units. Gilbert putting put on the IL Cower getting picked up Govier same wavelength be interesting to see if Michael starts him let's take some courage putting Kittredge on his IL Hilliard getting picked up by Mike for six units put drop an angle Newt Bar Max Freeze two units drop in Murphy Jan Gomes two units Jake Halusker uh, so Cle- oh, Cleveland does smites Jake. Uh, put drop in Hauk. I did so as well. Uh, Otto, Michael Govier, two units. Drop in Bubik. Uh, Josiah Gray, Max Freeze, two units. Drop in Miley. Tyler Alexander, Govier, two units. Drop in Luzardo. Paredes, Max Freeze, one unit. Drop in Winker. Packy, Naughton, Carmen. Zero units, dropping Waka, Calhoun, zero units, Lucas Beery, dropping Brinson, Tanner Rainey, zero units, Dave McDonald's, Andrews to the IL, Hansel Robles, Dave McDonald, zero units, Savali getting dropped, Luis Sessa, Dave McDonald, zero units, dropping Leon, Knabel, zero units, Dave, dropping Clippard. Doval, Dave, zero units. Yanoa getting dropped. Genesis Cabrera, Dave, zero units. Dropping Myers. Oh, look, fan tracks reset on me. What league are we in? Barf here? Okay, splendid. So there's only a few here for Barf. So two units. Eno spending for Mills. Dropping Steel. Nick Gordon, Toby, zero units. Seawald, Toby, zero units. Dropping Clippard. And Nerf League. So, excuse me here. Somehow Fantrax just did a kind of a refresh. Shane Baz, 39 units. Andy. Fulmer, 34 units. Chris, baseball pods, dropping Barnes. Barlow, Ralph, Lifshitz, 100 units, dropping Otto. Kyber Ruiz, uh, Chris again, five units, dropping Kirk. Nick Gordon, I think that's a clean sweep. Nick Gordon, 21 units. Andy, Cole Tucker, picked up by Andy for nine. Goslin, Andy for three. Lewin, Diaz, dropping Chang. Uh, Chris Meyer, three fab units to do so. And Jose Siri, Chris, for two units, dropping James Caprillion. All right. So that'll do it. That recaps week 27 of FAB, the final week. Uh, We'll see how all the points shake out. Three big teams um, have a sizable lead, and they'll 
most likely jostle for position, but uh, it'd be cool to see just this, you know, that four through what was it like seven or so was uh, pretty tight in the points. And um, I don't know, it'd be fun just to watch an, an update. Um, depending on how many games, maybe I could update again on the Thursday special. Um, Thursday morning special people might enjoy that you can put out a couple feelers doesn't it takes me about a half hour for 20 minutes just to do so uh, no biggie but that'll do it I'm JT you can find me on Twitter at JT underscore the ginger this is the Worf League find it on Twitter at Worf League or on YouTube um, but follow along check it out and we're going to crown the overall earth champ it's tentative Sunday October 3rd around 5 p.m. Pacific, and uh, if all the stats don't totally uh, correct themselves to redo that, I'll just try to confirm later that next week into October, but um, that'll be a lot of fun. So the overall Earth Champ, just to remind you all, gets a awesome WWE-style belt, and we've all pitched in all the 75 participants pitched in to pay for the belt and all the extra money will go towards a charity of the champion's choice. So that'll be fun. Maybe we'll get each um, participant in the top three or so there just to voice that out as a shout out. Um, That'll be really fun. So, all right, that's it for me. Take care, be well, enjoy your baseball, stay safe, and we'll see you later.